Greetings and welcome to Creeper World 4. I'm Degre, and today we look at uh, a brand new game that just came out in demo. Um, it's a game I've wanted to try for a little while, mostly because I saw a lot of videos of Creeper World 3. So um, the demo came out for 4, so uh, I wanted to give it a try. Uh, so far I've tried the first mission just to get a hang of things. So uh, let's just drop into it so I can show you this uh, rather brilliant game. So that's, let's get on with this uh, playthrough. Dr. Danu J. Soli's bedroom. A Rift launch facility. Six AM. Get out of bed, please. Going downstairs to check some messages. From Doctor Hale, chief scientist, to Doctor Seloy. Subject: Sorry, kid. So yeah, sorry about this, kid. But no launch party for you. The system catch needs purging. You'll need to head to the launch site and run a full sim today, as in right now. You know, so we can launch this single. Launch the single greatest scientific experience in human history on time tomorrow. Enjoy your sim time. The real heroes around here will be sure to enjoy the launch party. Dr. Hall. From Dr. Seloy, I'm guessing that's me, to Director Hall. Chief scientist. Subject, whatever. Fine. Somebody has to be useful around here. Maybe I'll also accept the Joven drive while I'm there. You know, the thing made possible by my grandfather and the only reason we are here. You all enjoy the party while I make a difference. Dr. Seloy, <laughs> junior scientist, RIP lab backup team. 9.12 a.m. RIP lab control. Okay, let's get the normal controls down. Rotate. I'll do that. C to reset interface. Good. Hello, Dr. Seloy. I hope your day is pleasant. Director Hall has requested you perform a few additional tasks in addition to the cage hatch perch. Director Hall would like the lights on at the launch site for tonight's launch party. He wants the this he wants visiting designations to clearly see of designators to clearly see the launch site. He has instructed you to construct the tower. You have to connect the rift lab to the launch site. This will power the lights. You may close my interface and proceed. I will provide additional information as the need arises. Build a tower. Okay. So, um, yes, all right. So a bit about Creeper Vault 4. As I said earlier, I haven't tried the fourth one, I haven't tried the third one, or the other ones before that, to be quite frank. Let's see. The solar fields are now activated, Dr. Seloy. These were not scheduled to be activated on the site's launch party. They were to be part of the exhibition. The solar fields are operating with normal parameters. Each field is producing energy that is being fed across a network to the Rift Lab. The energy status in the top left of the interface reflects increasing energy production. Okay. Your assigned tasks are now complete. Dr. Hale has requested you remain here during the launch party. Thank you for that. So as I was saying, I haven't tried any of the Creeper Walls before, but I know the gist of how it works from watching uh, different Let's Plays. Orbital centers confirmed incoming meteor strikes. Protocol 2 initiated. Based on lockdown. The Rift Lab is now decoupling from the base. All the lab bolt cuts are closed. Please, please brace for impact, Dr. Seloy. Okay. So, what Creeper World is about is uh, defending your base from uh, from creep and uh, trying to destroy all of it before it kills you. And for that, you have uh, certain ways of getting that done. Then now. 
We don't know what caused these impacts. They weren't, weren't normal meteors. Definitely something that is spreading across the terrain. I've released the control system from the lab. Move it to the launch site now. None of the crew are there. You have to do it alone. <laughs> we can get we can't get to you, and the stuff is advancing on the whole base. But okay, doing it. So you can move things around like this. They want us to move uh, left click and moving it into position right here. So as you can see, creep are moving in. And we have some turrets that can help us defend against it. Let's see what the next task is as we get going. If this touches our structures, they start to take damage, as you can see from uh, things around here. Full system access granted. The unknown materials is approaching the rift lab. I recommend relocating mining cannons around the site. Launch site. They may delay progress of the material. I will do just that. So, left click some cannons, left click to place them, and then we can move things around to uh, defend ourselves. Let's move one out as well to stop this creep from advancing. I think that might be a good idea. So, these turrets can destroy the creep and uh, defend the base. We have a few placed at strategic locations that can hopefully defend us. As you can see here, these bases has a certain amount of health, and if that goes down, it explodes. The same as the rest. More meteors. Now what we're seeing going on right here is supply lines. These are right now supplying ammo for the turrets. Danu, you have to get out of here. You have to save the lab and yourself. That stuff is destroying everything. There is no time. I've sent the command to Ada to initiate the long process. A long sequence, jump to Farsight. No, no, sir. Dr. Silo, Danu, you can do this. Take the lab through Rift Space. Be the first to ever traverse the galactic void. You need to know that your grandfather... Mesh is terminated at source. Dr. Hall, no, I can't. <laughs> well, that's a bad voice acting by my part. I'm sorry, Dr. Siloy. Our communications with Director Hall has been lost. Life support has failed across the base, and the unknown material is continuing its advance. The launch sequence needs some time to initiate. Initiate. The final calculations for jump to faucet have yet not yet com completed. An approximation solution is currently in place. Use mining cannons to keep the unknown materials away from the rift until the initiation is complete. So 30 seconds before we can jump, you can see our mining cannons, or just normal cannons, are uh, what's called defending us. They are using ammo to kill these. And this one here in the middle is applying it around the base. That's pretty much the gist of what this game is about. A tower defense light kind of game. And it's quite cool. You can see the wave formation, depending on how much uh, we have here. So initially, jump to Farsight. The new come in. We have taken shelter in the underground cave. The new. Okay, so it got into save. So um, that was the first part of the demo. Let's just submit us to this one. And let's continue to the next one. As you can see, I've tried it once before just to uh, Get the hang of this. So, mission two, Farsight. This should be uh, probably a bit more challenging and something I haven't tried yet. So let's uh, get on with it. Er, 001, system fault. Report error to Farsight develop development team. Ada offline. That's not good. That's just great. Ship's broken. And where the heck am I? This isn't Farsight. Oh, it's paused right now. So we have some pause features as well. Increasing uh, speed. You can see Creep is advancing. This looks interesting. Should we expand some towers out? Oh, yes we should.
wonder what the number means. Is that how many tiles they are touching? As you can see, the top left we have some generation and some stored. I'm guessing this is the power, as I said in the first one. Install and execute one of 42 archives. Uh, I don't have a choice. Everything else is botched. By the fountains. 200 yarns have passed since last thing. Oh. Does that mean I have two, um, 702 years later? Let's hear our words of prayers. Praise be the founders. Lost in spade with a cult virus and surrounded by an unknown liquid of death. Oh, so the cult is from what made this. Canal Mabel, where none was before. Praise be the founders. Okay, so we can make weapons now. And they require power to use and power to build. So I'm guessing we should just place down some to defend us. Maybe get some more of these towers down as well. Guessing it's a good idea to cover as much ground as possible. Oh, this is getting quite close. What does it say? Mother not found, mother must. Found this way, not much. Yeah. Praise be the founders. This is how I'm done talking to a virus about mother. Let's try and expand this out. We should be hopefully able to get some generation going. And maybe get some more power. So we're generating 2.1. We're using 4. Oh. To the east. Maybe it's the antivirus. This is what I want. So we have to get the... This one is shooting and defending us. We'll have to get more cannons down. Maybe place a few around the place. Because we know we can move them. So hopefully if we just do this, we can uh, fight the creep back. Annoying but useful. Reminds me of Dr. Hall. Reaper. Interesting. Reaper graph added. Ooh. So we have a deficit in power. I'm guessing that's because we are building things and charging ammo. But uh, as you can see, as we get more green, that's what it looks like. We are getting uh, more and more power as well. Maybe that's good in terms of getting just a few more cannons built. Maybe moving some of these out further. Plus we have to get to this one. That seems to be what it wants. Whatever. This is what I want. On the top left we can see a power generation. That looks to be a lot better. Yes, look at that. We are destroying things. Should be able to place down some more of these maybe. And get room for... Uh, Some turrets. What if place two right here? Then we can move the rest of them forward as needed. And clear a path across this way. These seems like they're producing all the time. That is uh, that is fine. Come on, turrets. Oh cute. There we go. You go forward as well. These can stay and defend the base that seems to be working fine. Oh, that's a bigger wave coming. Oh, it's taking a bit of damage. It's a bit too close to uh, to this. But it should be healing. Well, it seems like it's healing at least. Can I do this then? Uh, what if I expand over this way? Just while the rest is getting done to increase our power cons uh, generation. I'm guessing that's how uh, this works. It seems to all true so far. So uh, why not just try that? You can go there. And as long as the line connects, it sh should be able to shoot, hopefully. And it survived the creep though. Oh, easily. Good. So let's try and continue over this way. 
I actually do enjoy games like this, where we can just uh, defend against things with the... Uh, doesn't feel like that much of a stress. That's holding back this one. Can I get you up here? While this is being uh, pulled back. And now I can place in some more turrets. But more of these to increase our power creep and get to this one. These only cost five, so I can't see any reason not to build them. Oh, what, oh, what is that? Some kind of tower thing. So right now, our base is sending packages and constructing this one. That seems uh, quite good. You can just stay here and defend. Oh, it's not connecting to that one. Oh, there we go. We had a uh, <laughs> breach in our connection, it seems. It was only reaching to the turret. There we go. Oh, so red is ammo and white is building material. That is what it looks like. Maybe if I do something like this, we'll be able to expand a bit faster. And let's build a cannon over here. Just to help a bit with the protection, protection even. I should get done. And we have 10.6 in generation, only using 6.8. I should be fine. Mother Aether version 2.4.2. Excuse me, much of found. Or a thought valid checks. Install and execute 4 out of 4. More compatible software on an alien world. I wonder what group B does here. Yes, install and run. Oh. That's a lot of things going here. Hello, Dr. Siloy. I'm pleased to see you again. I've detected an out-of-date system database. The database will be upgraded over time. And I'm able to detect a rift carrying area signal or establish our exact location. Solar spectral analysis is not consistent with Earth or the far side systems. In the event of loss of communication, while not on in the Earth system, return to March last launch station. Ura, ura, ura. Engine research successful. Jump start. We couldn't jump. Unable to initiate the jump back to Mars. Ordnance cannot be established without a rift carrier signal. Okay, whatever that is. Let's just let this do. Yep, I'm sure if I do this, I'll get back to Mars. Lift, lift to totems. Hmm. Oh, what is that? Oh, we have to go here. Okay, that seems fine. That does mean we have to... Oh, and something over here as well. Okay, time to expand out a bit. Let's see here. Let's get you over this way. And let's build some towers to... Take care of the creep. I think that'll be fine. You can go out here. Yeah, a lot. Oh, oh we can't do it before we have any. Uh... Oh, my, just been too far out. That's clearing this out. It's probably able to move some of these over to other sites, or maybe just go directly in here and stop this one from spreading. And I move you to. Right here. And craft a few more just right here to get things going. That's fine. You can go over here. You should probably stop everything advancing that way. That seems good. Let's get some towers down and help. It seems like that is stopping this one or everything this is producing, so that should be a lot better or easier to handle now that is. And we should be able to move you maybe just over here to clear that out. Let's move you down here. 
I know it's landing in creep, but it, it seems to be able to handle it for a little while before they explode. Which is uh, good to know. Let's do a little experiment. What if I take you and place you right there? Because it is connecting up, so maybe this can uh, can handle it. You can go this way. I just want to clear out all of this creep there. Yeah, I can easily handle landing and creep. That is good to know. So, I'd like for you to move a bit further ahead as well. So that will connect up this little area. I wonder if we can do this and then just let it uh, build as soon as the connection is, uh, is established. Okay, I can't build in creep, I'll just directly destroy it. I can do something like that. That's going to connect up over here in just a second. And we need this one over here as well. So... You can stay there, let's take you instead. This should connect up to this one. Nice and easy. We almost have this one, the ply part. Oh, that's applying things to Liftic. Is that going back to this one? No, it's going over here. Oh, it's helping with build. Oh, this one needs something. Both needs Liftic. Okay, perfect. That one's working. Oh, we have one here as well. Um, please come with me over here. And can I just place you directly into this one? Let's give it a try and see if that works. Very nice. Just down in the, in the creep with you. And I can place you over here just to connect things up and increase our power. Yeah, that, that seems to be looking uh, quite good. I guess as soon as we connect this one up, it's going to get from over here. I said in these liftic things. There we go. Liftic things going. Perfect. Wonder what happens when this fills up then. Okay, ooh. Activate. Objective obtained. Rift signal detected. Attempting jump start. Uh, jump drive restart. Jump start restarted. Jump drive is complete. Jump drive has been initiated, Dr. Seloy. Jump revolver or resolver has confirmed a target at the coordinates for Mars launch site. You may initiate the jump when ready. Mother Rift jump rejoice. As it's written, so quests begin. Okay. Rift jump. Cool. That seems that was on mission two. So um I think this is a pretty decent place to stop for this first episode. So um hopefully you enjoyed this as much as I am. And uh, please remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more of this content. It will let me know that uh, you want to see more of it. So with that, I've been D Gray. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.